Hi everyone, today I'm gonna do a quick and easy back to school makeup look inspired by Korean actresses. To achieve this makeup look, the key points are to focus on having flawless skin, defined eyes, and natural looking lips. First off, you want to start off by curling your eyelashes so your eyelash curler doesn't take away any of your concealer. Here I'm using Laura Mercier Secret Concealer with a peach undertone to help correct my under eye circles. Because the concealer is in a pot, so I decided to use a smaller brush to take out the concealer first and then blending it off with a foundation brush. Usually when we're getting ready for school, we don't have a lot of time to use different makeup products, so I'm just using the same concealer and concealing my other imperfections and blending it off. Moving on to the eyes, I'm going to use NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Strawberry Milk. This creamy eyeshadow pencil can act as a base and the pink color is subtle enough to wear to school. Because we're focusing on a very minimalistic look, I'm only applying the creamy eyeshadow onto my eyelid and not onto the crease. And now I'm quickly blending it off with my finger. Instead of using an eyeshadow, I am going to use a blush. Using a blush instead of an eyeshadow gives a much softer application, perfect for this kind of look. Again, you only want to apply it on the eyelid and not on the crease. From this eyeshadow quad, we're going to use a light pink shadow. This eyeshadow has a shimmery texture so it can help highlight and accentuate our eyes. I'm applying the shadow onto the center of the eyelid where the light would usually hit. To create a soft yet defined eye look, I'm going to use this eye and eyebrow liner pencil to line my eyes. Because this product can also be used on our eyebrows, it is much softer than a regular eyeliner. The softness of this liner pencil creates a shadow effect near our lashes, making them appear fuller. To prep our lips for our lip tint, I'm using a Burt's Bees lip balm. Taking the eyeshadow quad from before, I'm taking the pink color and lining the bottom rim of my eye, but this time lining only the center portion. Taking the same light pink eyeshadow from before, we're going to use this color and highlight the inner corners of our eyes and blending it in with the pink that you just applied. Taking the same NYX eye and eyebrow pencil from before, I'm going to line the outer corner of my eyes giving them a soft definition. Next I'm going to use the Makeup Forever Smoky Extravagant Mascara. I really like this mascara because it's really dark in color and it gives a really nice voluminous look. To fill in the eyebrows, I'm using this Kate Designing Eyebrow Kit. For me, my eyebrows have a bit of an arch, so if you're like me, you can uh, straighten out your eyebrows by uh, filling in the bottom portion of your eyebrows so they appear more straight. After you fill in your eyebrows, you want to use a spoolie to soften out any harsh edges. For the lips, I'm using Etude House Fresh Cherry Lip Tint. Uh, to apply this in the most natural looking way, I would suggest you to remove any excess product from the applicator before you apply it. And this completes our look. Thank you so much for watching and please subscribe for more videos.